I am going to do a comparison between these two water ionizers. On the left is the Enagic and on the right is the new water ionizer and basically these are both very strong ionizers. The Enagic has seven large plates, the Sam nine plates and uh, sophisticated electronics to add bursts uh, to increase ionization of fish. Uh, they're, they're similar in that they're very strong water ionizers. Now the thing I've found with very strong water ionizers is that they will tend to perform equally to the top line ionizers such as Athena and the Tiant Turbo, but they will tend to maybe outshine in the department of being able to ionize at a fast flow rate. And I've done other blogs on this and really it's the it's not so much being able to get equally good drinking water from an Athena, let's say. Uh, you will. I, I prefer the, <laughs> the slower flow rate myself and the Athena will give equally good ionization if not better but at the fast flow rate for people who are impatient or in my case I am not impatient I understand water filtration and I understand that the water needs to flow through those filters slower <laughs> if you're going to get all the pharmaceuticals out and all the chloramine out and all the fluoride out you just have to flow the water th through the filters slower. But some people, I've got, you know, my sons and even my husband, they'll be in the, such a rush and they'll want to do that fastest flow rate. Now this is probably, uh, these two ionizers are probably better for that, for the fast flow rate. But uh, let's take a look and compare these two ionizers to each other and see which one would be better. And honestly, I just don't know. I haven't done this yet. So I've got it set up kind of a little odd here with all these hoses. So let me get, well, I'll go ahead and test the Enagic. And basically I'm gonna test three flow rates. I'm gonna test fast, medium, and slow for both of these. And I'm going to try to get them pretty approximately equal, but I'm, you know, <laughs> I'll just do the best I can. So here's fast. Now I'm going to slow it down just a tiny bit. Alright, so that's medium. Actually, it's pretty fast in my book. Now this is slow. This is basically what I like myself. This filtration is the best as far as going through the filter and getting the chemicals removed. Okay, now that's the magic. Now what I'm going to do is I'll just get, I'm just going to put my probes in here to get them situated. But I'm going to set it up now and Get control knob right there on it, which is very handy. The magic doesn't, which is why I have to use all these other methods here. But now, and these are both at level three, by the way. All right, so here is the fastest level, and then I'll slow it down a little. And it's medium, and then I'll slow it down a little bit more. And then that's slow. All right. It is being washed now. All right, so now let's take a look and see. I've got the probes in the Enagic, and it was fast, and this is pretty good. This is actually good ionization for such a fast flow. 
and that's a 10.3 pH with a negative 679 or negative 680. All right, and then let's we we better just let them sit for a little while because I'm trying to be fair here. All right, so let's see if I get this angled right. It's a 10.4 pH with a negative 775. So now definitely coming in stronger at at the fast. All right, let's take a look and see what we've got for the medium. That's that's just too odd. Um it does not, I mean, it's got a higher pH, but it does not look better for ORP. And that's, that is strange. And um, let me go ahead and see what that looks like. And this is a 10.6, and it it is going up as far as the ORP goes so fast that I should just kind of wait. It's probably going to go up to negative 800, I'll bet. But a negative 770, which is good. I mean, that was a, fa a pretty fast flow rate. Okay, now this is the Enagic at the slower flow rate, and really, as you can see, the quality of drinking water is definitely not as good at the slower flow rate. So, really, you know, it's your, I guess, if you're going to use the Enagic, use it at the faster flow rate. <laughs> That's all I can say. For some reason, it'll give you a more drinkable level of pH at the faster flow rate, and it, you know, the the ORP just doesn't seem to be improved that much. This 11.1 or whatever pH is too high to drink. You you could emulsify oils with that, clean your stove or something like that, but that's too high for drinking. And the ORP is great, but you know, you wouldn't be drinking at that. All right, so anyway, enough about that. And let's go over here to the Vesta and see what it does at this lower flow rate. So it's it actually just looks better, like a little bit more of a drinkable level, 10.9 pH. And the ORP is fantastic. It's better it's still rising so it's probably going to go over over a negative 800 all right well i i'm going to say that he, the vesta is just all around a better water ionizer it looks like it in theory if you look at all the literature about it and the filters are better by far and um the fact that you can get such great ionization at that fast flow rate is pretty impressive. So, there you go.